Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to all of my people around the world. What's the goddamn deal? YouTube, how y'all doing today? Your boy is extra excited today. Extremely excitement can explain the emotions that's running through my body right now. So y'all didn't already seen the title. Y'all already seen the thumbnail. So I'm not going to talk y'all's ear off, but the 90s baby in me, 90s baby va is very excited today because today we are going to be unboxing the Game Boy Color camera and the Game Boy Color printer. Um, more, more so excited about the camera, but happy to have the printer so I can have some real time prints and show y'all what these photos look like in printed form. But this is dope though, because it is the original Japanese packaging of this camera and printer. So um, let's go do a peaceful, very peaceful unboxing of these things. But dude, I'm so excited about this. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid, but you know, growing up, not being able to afford things, I clearly wasn't able to get one of these. And now being able to have one, I am super, 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 super excited. So now I'm gonna go take a picture of a few things, but y'all know this camera isn't like, you know, a DSLR or a film camera. So I wouldn't expect the highest quality of pictures coming out of this thing this video is going to be fun though it's going to be super fun we're going to go do a couple of things take some pictures with it and just have fun because that's what i want to do but i wouldn't expect anything other than like one megapixel super pixelated game boy color photos but i'm i'm hype on that i'm excited about that i know we take a lot of i know we take photography serious on this channel but today is a day of fun so let's take our serious pants off for a moment and just have some fun let's do it so me and Damon ended up getting tickets to a pistons game so i took the camera out just to see how it would hold up during a sporting event I had a lot of trouble trying to get a decently exposed photo. The glare on the screen made it extremely hard to see what was too bright and what was too dark. And also the dynamic range on the camera is clearly horrendous so it didn't hold up in this situation. So the next day I went out with Token and took some photos. Again the dynamic range isn't amazing so a lot of these photos aren't the best as well but what would we expect from a game boy pocket camera I will say that taking selfies on this camera is incredible, probably what it was made for the most.
When I got back, I tried to print out some of the photos using the printer paper that came with the printer. The printer paper is so old that the photos wouldn't come out dark enough to be seen on the paper. So after a little arts and crafts project, I decided to set up the printer and the Game Boy in an aesthetically pleasing way to print out the rest of the photos. So first of all, nobody's watching this because we're expecting this camera to take amazing pictures. It's definitely like 0.5 megapixels on like a, I don't, I don't even know, bro. The, the camera is not great. It's not good. We didn't expect it to be good. I did see though that a couple people online did mod this camera to be better, but like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a, a Game Boy camera, but at the end of the day, but they did make it a little bit better. But I didn't have that luxury. Also, I didn't think that it was that deep. I just kind of wanted to take pictures with the Game Boy. Now, the Game Boy has very, like it has some restrictions and it's challenging to take what I would consider a good photo using this pocket camera because either it's too bright, it doesn't have like dynamic range or anything like that. So either it's too bright, it's too dark, too contrasty, not contrasty enough. I found that the best thing to do, the best thing to take pictures of on this camera is selfies selfies look amazing using this camera everything else like i tried to take pictures of the whip i also tried to take pictures of um y'all seen i took it to the pistons game which we won against the utah jazz great game amazing game had fun time but other than that i just took pictures of the office and selfies and stuff around here you only get 30 shots out of this out of this camera like it's internal storage and then that's it you have no more pictures to take so you do actually have to be very you know particular in what you take pictures of because you only get 30 pictures so can't just go out there firing it up next thing this pocket printer the printer paper that comes with this pocket printer is garbage it's hot garbage well I wouldn't say that it's garbage, but I'm sure that the paper that came with this one has been sitting in the box since 1998. Is that when they said it was? Yeah. So since 1998, this paper has probably been sitting in that box unopened. So it's not the greatest. I don't know wh what you would call it or why it's not good, but it's not good. It's it, the, the, um, what is it? Um, the potency of the paper has run out. There's the pictures on it, they don't show up. So I had to go out and get some new printer paper. So just some like receipt paper, cut it because I didn't find any receipt paper that was the exact size as this one. So I had to cut it and then that looked a lot better. I know that some people have, you know, modded some things and got some things and have been able to get these photos in a digital format, but I just think that's too much. I just think that's overdoing it. Um, I just don't think it's that deep 
for me at least. This is a cool little camera to have. I'm gonna keep it just so I can have it in my collection. Um, it'd be fun to just show people this when they come over or you know, I don't know, give it to my kid because I can never, I never had it as a kid. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a ton of things that I can just keep this for. There's no reason to give it away or get rid of it. It's, it doesn't take up any space. It's just, you know, cool little camera. Also, I do need to mention that all of the writing for this pocket camera was in Japanese. So I basically had to guess and just press a bunch of buttons to figure out how to work this thing and just like how to get the pictures off, how to print it, how to even take pictures to begin with, because there's a lot of things that I didn't understand. And then it being in Japanese, I clearly also didn't understand. Then I didn't wanna watch a video because I got this toxic trait when I don't know how to do something. I just try to learn how to do it on my own before I go to the internet or go to someone else to try to help me. Um, I probably could have figured out how to how to use it and figure out my issue a lot sooner if I just went to the internet for some help. But you know me, got to do everything on my own and figure out everything on my own. I did, and it's no problem. It wasn't that deep. It wasn't that hard. So um, pause. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I saying? But I did somehow figure it out. And um, here we are now, a couple days later, making this video talking about this camera but anyway probably gonna wrap up the video now if you're not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do so other than that we're gonna get up out of here and we're gonna go do some shit you know the vibes let's get it